That's the problem. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mario, are you grabbing the list? Be prepared for this one, Sam. Here we are today in Western Kentucky. <laughs> Sam Yellow Murphy. For a wonderful game, Kent State versus Central Michigan University. Chippewas and uh, the Flashers, I believe. Flashers? Flashers. Is this I'm trying Wait, is to be like as live? not dirty as possible. We have some people down there. DePaul, DePaul Dodgeball Brethren, Alex Scott, Captain Fluffy. He's a great game. Mike McNicholas as well. Zygmus Maloney. Ah, Zygmus Maloney. Kingpin of Dodgeball. And Mario Romanelli and will join us shortly. And they're off. Carlton signals. Oh, great Quick trade of balls in the right center. Away. Peter Bro Peter making Bro. it look easy. Execution. This, I think, is going to be a great matchup today, Grant. I uh, feel like these are even even level teams at times. Ken's been a little a little haphazard of lately, but I feel like it could be a great game against the Chippewas. They're both very passionate. They both want to win real badly. Yep. Not to say that we don't. Uh, it's no. Not like we go out there and be like, ah. Well, they, they just wanted a little more. loss today. No, yeah. yeah, they're they're very excitable. Both, both teams have great deals of energy, great deals of throwers, you and can... great deals of catchers. Great hit by uh, number fourteen, Cassidy on Ca Kent. Cassidy taking out number ten. It was great, great shot. Learning from Pat Benatar. Fire away! Fire away! Field pushes for Ooh. Kent. Oh, pushes up. nearly Great hits throw the, by Baird. Bard. The father on the right side, sporting the Michigan State. Pump fake from the Chippewas. That's number four, co captain. Solid exchange. Whoa, Good great cross. Kent State with a cross. Learning from Jesus. So the score gets another ship there on Kent State. Uh, breaking the action here. Oh, CMU moving hard up. Good toss to the Chippewas. Shreepa back to Keene. Here's Kent State's push. Freshman of CMU. That's number 11. M Mike Riley. His real name is Mike Riley, but we like to call him freshman. He's a, oh, he's a actually a third year. He is actually a third year, but uh, nickname Stick, that's what we're saying. A little break yeah. in the action here. That's a man I, I would not want to face in a dark alley with a dodgeball. Baltani with a solid catch. Love hearing that sound as the ball hits your chest. Boom! Ooh, a little, a little it hurts. Back and forth. It hurts. Pushing up. Great defense. Cassidy I really, I really like Cassidy's movement. His, his lateral movement is wonderful. He narrowly avoids. Oh! Oh! oh my goodness! Oh! oh! What a wonderful catch and a smile. Number four, Brett Hadwin. Wonderful catch with the back of his arm. Sometimes you just you, you act like you know what you're doing out here, but... He was the baller of the month. The, the important baller part about dodgeball is whether you know what you're doing or not, you got to pretend like you know. And sometimes things like that happen, and you're like, you know what, I'll take it. Get a gem. Maybe, maybe he helped the old woman cross the street earlier today. And uh, it's karma coming back to him. That's the karma. Ooh. Chippewas oh. could be a hit. Carlton signals no. Carlton, the Ohio State alumni, in the corner. A very even match here. It's down to 13 to 12. Uh, Good toss, push from Samuel the Chippewas. Up Brett face. with a great, great return. The Chippewas communicating. Good toss. Ooh, Riley. Ooh. Good toss by Riley to Garasso off. Ah, Kent State. Mike Riley is being an intimidating force right now. That man is big, he has an arm, and I think he's a little scary. 
So, that's a great combination of all three. Uh -oh. And surprisingly, uh -oh. oh, solid cross. Hit. Baller of the month coming through again. H Hadwin really, really showing his worth here. He's got Wesley Peters with a great, great throw. Shout out to Dad. Dad's everywhere. Chippewas, good team throw by Nutton Noon. Kent State avoids. Here comes Wes and Hadwin. Oh! Wesley Peters, unfortunately, getting tagged. Nailed the is Wes. He's sporting the mustache Ooh. today. We've really seen that. more frustrating things in dodgeball, really thinking you have the catch and then it just pops out. The Pero with the rainbow shorts and the neon shoes, he stands out. Uh, style, style and style. It's Riley. It's <laughs> Mike Riley. Oh. Not too many high throws from either of these teams. They're both Learn to keep the ball down. These are knowledgeable the teams. They know better than to keep the balls up. Um, they know they know where to place them and they know what they want to do. Don't expect any lazy throws coming out of these two. Cassidy coming on. Uh, Peter Bro uh, pushing hard. Uh, oh, Kent State with a rush here. A few solid outs as Bro goes down. Have him the block. Just beneath us. Kent State making a push up while CMU pushes back. CMU is well armed with balls though, so it'll be quite an uphill battle for Kent State. On his right side. Oh, put it right in his pocket. We'll keep you later, treat. That one's been great so far. He's been all over the court, Let's making catches, that. making throws. Catalyst so far for this game, but Kent holds the man advantage. throw from number 19 on Kent State, Bard. He seemingly has a rocket that comes out of nowhere. Even at 8-8. Eight, eight. Here come the Chippewas. Shout out to Alex Scott for shot blocking. Captain Fluffy. One of the fierce beards on the Paul Dodgeball. Near headshot there. That one could have been dangerous. We've already seen one earlier today with our own howitzer going down. Fortunately, they took out our howitzer. Oh, great tag. That's that throw I was talking about. It's got curve. Baird's just putting it in there. Baird, Bard. I don't know how you pronounce his name, but he's great. Cross. It looks to be Baird. He's a bear. He's, he's a bear. The D is silent. <laughs> I feast on the living. Lefty throws can often throw some people off. Very not, true. Not you don't the expect the other direction. Especially when it winds as much as that one. Great well, catch by Hadwin again, my Real goodness. Showing his, showing his game today. Scott LaValle. Recently oh, got man. a bullet. But How is that water bottle still alive on the table? I have no idea. Alex on the Chippewas. Sporting an interesting haircut and the uh, American bandana. Told by Wes earlier today this might be a regrettable decision for him. Ooh, Baird with that great throw. But Half of just, his head shaved. Just getting it taken by uh, Mike Quick Riley action there. here. Riley with a good out. A good block two by Keen and Kent Ken State. Charles pushing out. Really pushing up on the right side. Oh, Brett Hadwin. Oh. oh. A lot of pump fakes here from the Chippewas, something we're used to seeing playing in pretty often. Ooh. Great team chemistry. They're really, really looking out for one another. Pump fakes throw a lot of teams off. Oh, oh, great Ross, catch and, and stay catch. in by Paltani. Smart move to put Hopefully the, the really foot down that. so he can hold his other foot in bounce. A little Jordy Nelson oh. action. Near head shot there, Abbeman. Yeah. Just Dude, escapes. Going down. Mike Riley, tell him. 
fellow dodgeballers joining us on the track, representing Taos, and we have a timeout call. That's Cassidy. Timeout. Timeout. 16.08. Still 0-0. What do you think so far there, Grant? Good action? It's, yeah, it's fantastic. We said at the beginning of the match, these two teams pretty evenly matched, and you can tell it just seems to be a back-and-forth game. You can tell these are teams with a serious pass with each other. They're not taking anything for granted, but making sure to take every inch they can get. Anything for granted? Oh. Classic Mario right. joke. Hopefully you guys won't have to hear too much of that because it drives me absolutely nuts. I as have to did live I, with him. As I used to live with him. We both oh, leave. Take it for Of Grant all the Arizona. things to describe that, pretty good might not be one of them. Okay. Okay, I'll give you okay. I'll give you okay. okay. Parents out here supporting their children. Their Chippewa parents, so. Chippewa parents and or grandchildren. Shout out to the, the, those chip, out chip to, parents out to there. To parents. Shout out to mom and dad. Parents are really. pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty baller. Well, I doubt anyone's watching the timeout, but if they are, hi Ziggy. Fuck parents or parental figures all around. Seems to be action going on out. I wish I didn't have to wake up so early, running on five hours of sleep. That is our fault. That's absolutely our fault. Oh, is that JMU? We'll stick it with this thing over here. Eventually jump over to Bowling Green and the company. Timeout done. It's a price to be explaining something out there. Not quite sure what. Feel free to go to the bathroom. Take care of that. Let's check out some of the other match. Just, just because. Green and JMU. JMU with a rush. Good out for the Dukes of JMU. Solid block for the Dukes. Oh, you ah, looks like we're concluding on the other point. Fantastic. And rush on over to CMU. And Kent once again. Good and friends we're on back both here teams. With CMU and Kent State. Six on eight. So Kent State's on a two count. Let's see if they look to slow the game down a bit. Chippewa is not averse to that. Zygmunt Maloney with the signal, Carlton. Again, Cantrell, Hilditch, Keen. Good low block. Ooh, great throw from. Uh, oh, who's that? Oh, man, that's my color. Okay. Heller moving up the side, having to his right. Responding well to the 10 count. Here comes Paltani and Keen. Great teamwork there in blocking. Great work in keeping his legs in. Oh, the teammate blocked by Keen. He said access denied. About time he's still alive. Chippewa's 
with an advantage. Riley with a block. Good cross action here as well. Seems to be at a standstill low. Both teams Three want this point. Riley. Low throw from Riley. Chippewas back away. Scott LaValle, a little longer haircut today. Looking for a catch. Looking a little, a little different. Still beautiful as ever, but. <laughs> LaValle, good friend of ours at the Paul Dodgeball. Keen set and a throw in the ground. We might be getting a little tired out there. I know that's happened to me before. Ooh, great return by Mike Riley. Tossing him to the ground, you don't mean it. Chippewas back away, forcing Kent to advance. Oh, oh my goodness, hopefully Keen. Very, almost that could have been very dangerous. 25 with a great catch from Twisting Kent. Twisting ankles out there. Here, good catch by Aldridge. Aldridge. He said, "Give me that, Lamarcus. Lamarcus, embodying." He should be in the NBA right now. I don't know why he's a here. Six eleven power forward out of Portland. Forgot he went to Kent State. Edwin still in, still looking Beyonce fierce out there. I think a lot of his power comes from his bandana. It's very nicely, nicely tied. Very nice looking. Gives him a little Super Saiyan energy. Good throw from the valley. He'll get to the block. Both teams looking for a momentum shift. Trying to find the Here's break Riley. In, the, uh, in the levy here, but seems to be seen proof on both sides. Riley leading the league in pump fakes at 7,000. Oh, oh great an incredible catch. Riley didn't like that throw. we got to get props to Peltani with a solid catch for Kent. Could be the momentum shift we talked about. Ben Harder we'll comes in. here as they go up. Sinclair, number 12. Five to seven here with Kent, two, two man advantage. Official timeout. This timeout brought to you by Sigmas Maloney Beer. Buy it bottled, draft, or however the hell you want it. Ziggy will deliver it to your door for a cheap, cheap price. What? Ziggy with some Lonnie beer. It's a reference to Ziggy down there. It was a home brewer. Oh, there was his own beer at home. The beer you can drink. If you shoot a mime, should you use a silencer? 44 left in this first half. I miss Mitch Hedberg. Here is uh, Chippewas with five. Kent with uh, seven, I believe. Seven. Oh, maybe two, four. It is seven, so seven on five. Kent advantage. And this, this is where, where Kent and CMU are really surprising. It's in their depth. Yeah, the, some of the big names have been traded in and out. Great hit. Great hit by... Uh, some time with us with the Super Bowl as well. Ah, yes. At the Lair, our own yeah. Chicago apartment. Had a great time with CMU. Oh, Jake Leskey going for the catch, but couldn't Lesky get his upset with himself, it. but a good solid cross from Kent as well. Great dodgeballer. Not, nothing much you can do about that kind of throw. The benches of these teams just run so deep. Tim Harder and all you're, you're facing You're facing tough candidates everywhere. Confusing moment there. Some come conflict. Aldridge and he's a little, little jibber jabber. He's going to wind up going out there. Perhaps an office official ruling from Ziggy. He steps back in. You wonder what's going on. Wes Peters standing in for uh, or standing up for his team, making sure that Aldridge is in fact out. Battery is low. A second. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch the rest of this match. 
the cross by the Chippewas, Peltani. Mario, what's the program you have? That, or what's, no, what's the phone? Oh, live stream? Where'd you? Live stream. Oh, is it? How do you, because your phone's going to die, I figure. Oh, CMU has dropped down to three people to Kent's, uh, Kent's five, staying at that two-man deficit. Leaves lots of room for swings. Get a catch in, get a player out, get one back in, you're right back in this game. Oh! Good solid cross uh, from the Chippewas. Sinclair falls out. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't quite find it. What's the matter? Action still a lot of low throws. Both teams on top of their game. Oh. oh, I thought Hadwin was gonna have there. Block. He said, "I ain't having none of that." Oh, could be a team uh, catch, but no, nothing doing. Paltani still. Uh, Hilditch there. Got to get past the Paltani for a great job out there. He falls for Kent, and now we have a three-on-three. Three. This is what decides the men from the boys when it comes to dodgeball. And the ladies as well. Yeah, the ladies, ladies representing out here. Out ladies matches tomorrow. This isn't any uh, pickup basketball three-on-three. Three. This is dodgeball three-on-three. Three. Hilditch narrowly misses the knock. So close to making it. Adwin again. Dropping pass. Not looking out. Good close out here. All three Chippewas with the ball. Here comes the assault. Then Harder will step up. Good cross Don't throw. Miss the other Demharder goes for the I ankles. Adam like Miss. Cantrell and Demharder, the lone Kent Staters. Against three Chippewas. Here comes Cantrell. They have a catch. Four on one. And Kent State, hold on, as we'll Wes Kent. Peters comes in. Oh, had one. Oh, Good great block. work picking up that ball. Wes wants it, no. Oh, man, Kent State. Still in his dem hard. Almost getting a break there, I would say. Making sure that, that, that clock is stopped and ball's reset. Ball's to the other side. Dead fish. Dead fish. Bold move. We'll see if it, Let's it, see the dead it, fish. See if it happens. It comes down to it. Four v one in all the balls. It's tough being that one, but sometimes it works in your advantage. The children out here as well. The little brothers. I, I remember when mine was that young. My child. Clearing it. There's them harder. Demharder learning from Rick Roll. Never gonna give up. He tells Dodfall he's never gonna give you up. Oh, a near catch, but actually bounced off the ball Hit there. The ball in front of him. So Demharder is just sit down. staying alive. Uh, Final out there. First match, CMU. That's a seven, quite some time. 7.40 left on the clock. 12 minutes and 20 seconds. CMU takes a one up lead. We'll be back with the second point.
So here we are, back with CMU versus Kent State. Uh, Mario Romanelli and Samuel Murphy in the booth. Uh, Grant Harrison has disappeared. We're coming midway through a point. We had some technical difficulties, uh, cell phone batteries dying and such, but we're uh, we're here and uh, we come into the game with CMU down two, Kent down uh, five, I believe. And let me tell you, it has been a loud and active game here. Carlton? Oh, Colin. shot clock violation for Kent State. Say again? Shot clock violation for oh. Kent State. Oh, that's that's a tough thing to have when you have so many people. Apologize for the film quality of this. My phone sucks. Oh, no. Great 35 left in the first half. Chippewa is pushing up with all their balls. Kent, Kent able to dodge most, if not all, of their balls. I believe they didn't lose a single man on that possession. Mike Riley leading the charge. Nice kill. Able to tag a Kent State player. Three minutes left in the first half. Great team throw by uh, Wesley Peters and. Uh... Oh. Ooh. comes the retaliation by Kent. Oh, looking for Wes's head there. Uh, unable to get it, but he was looking. He, he was. He wanted his head, and he wanted to mount it, but he won't be taking that taxidermy home. <laughs> Brumfield pushing up, challenging Mike Riley in the center. Kent players yelling two minutes. Let's see if they try to uh, hold this until the uh, until the half. Being down so many players might be a uh, smart idea. Minute forty. CMU really overloading Kent with. Lots of players. And seemingly calls a timeout. I believe that's CMU timeout. Getting some noise over from uh, JMU BGSU. was JMU with 2-0 lead. 2-0 lead against Bowling Green. Quite, uh, quite the, the score. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, we have uh, some viewers here. Look at that. Mario, we have eight viewers. Oh, no, now we're down to six. Uh, we were popular. Much anymore. <laughs> Lining up for the uh, calm after the storm, uh, well, the storm after the calm, I should say, on that timeout. CMU using their war machine of men to push ahead. One minute left on the clock. Uh, 
Tim's trying to make a push up the left side, but Ian is holding a strong line. Oh, and he cannot hold on to the ball. Ian Ryan, a great young player for CMU, probably one of their better, younger talents. Ooh. Brett Hadwin with a great response. May not have been an effective ball as far as uh, hitting someone, but it was definitely effective in pushing them back. Was the is looking intimidating in the center with a great throw. Counting down, we're at about 15 seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and the half is over. The final score going into the second half will be 1-0 CMU. We'll be back, we'll be back in just a moment.